Hey YouTube, it's Dadrin here. Welcome to my new Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! Refresh of Destruction or Refresh of Destruction, depending on what I'm gonna pronounce it, Refresh. But uh, I wanna go into a bit of the backstory of why I'm doing this game. First off, my good friend Kizzy, incoming Kizzy, he did a Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. And I wanna continue on with his trend. We made a deal, if he did that Let's Play, I would do this. Refresh of Destruction is a hard game, let's start off with it. So, before we actually start the game, I wanna name myself, which is obviously gonna be Daco. But, um,. I'm going to go for one or two things as well. I will be using save states to start the duels. There will be a lose counter and I will be recording for a long period of time and just cutting out all the non-main duels because this game is pretty long and it's pretty hard. Uh, I'm going to get into more of the mechanics of the game during this let's play, well during this first episode, but let's start off and put our name Daco. So it's actually based around the actual anime this. It's not canon or anything but yeah just look at these GBA graphics. They are fantastic. I love them. I love them so much. So as you can see there's the god cards, Ra, Slifer and Obelisk. The Tormentor. If you don't really know the anime, you should definitely check it out. It is pretty good, but yeah, I'm sorry if you can hear anything in the background. My family are in the in the room and stuff. Well, in the house, like so. Yeah. And oh my god, who is this? The main antagonist of the game, which it looks really familiar to someone in the anime. Spoilers, but yeah. Now I put this monster card here, like so, and voila, and and voila, yeah, yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah, Daco. How's how's adjusting your new deck coming along? Perfectly, perfect allows whichever you pick is gonna have a, a comment to say. You sure about that? Let me let me the expert, the one and only Joey Wheeler. Check it out. So yeah, um, this is a really weird game, and I'll get into it a bit later on. Uh, it's so cool to be confident about your skills, but you still have a lot of, d of work to do about your deck. Before it's any good. Uh, cheers for that, Joey. Cheers. Hey, don't feel bad. I know you're you can construct an awesome deck, Daco. Alright guys, I'm gonna go and ro totally rock this with my deck today. Man, I can't wait for the Duelist Express train to come. It's been too long since I've dueled in a tournament. Daco and Yugi and I... There's too many ands there, it should be Daco, Yugi and I are gonna own this tourney. By the way, uh, let's go for it, let's go for it, come on, let's go for it. Yeah, but don't you think I'm gonna, you're gonna let you win da Daco? And that goes for double for Yugi. Speaking of who, why isn't Yugi here yet? I don't know where Yugi is. I don't know where Yugi is. Oh man, this stinks. Look at look at the time already. Um, he's never that late. He's late. Come on, Yug. How can you even think about being late on a day like this? If he doesn't come soon, we'll have to miss the Duel, Duel Express. And he was the one who promised that the three of us were gonna take the train together. Man, Dad Yugi, ah. If he doesn't get here, he can give me all his rare cards, and I will still won't forgive him. Oh, here's Yugi. What up, Yugi? Daco, everything's horrible. Balls to Joey just talking to me, yeah? Yeah, hey. What's up? My other my other self, the Millennium Puzzle. My puzzle is gone, and along with the spirit inside. What? What? I woke up this morning and it was gone. I... I... What am I supposed to do? I don't know, Yugi. I don't know. Hey, we can't waste time standing here and talking. Daco, what do you think? What we should do? Let's go and look for it. Leave it to me. I've got this. Yeah, that's the spirit, Daco. Y y y Yugi, let's go with that, Deco. I won't stop until I find my dearest friend. I wanted to go alone though. I, di I didn't want you guys carrying my, my weight. Jesus, I have, to, I have to carry you guys now. I promise. I'm carrying a new Deco. And with that, we actually head to the Duelist Square. Deco, what, what are you still doing here? We weren't you three meant to be taking the Duel, Duel Express? We was, but the Million Puzzle's gone. Yeah. But how did that happen? I don't know, Tay. I don't know. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's a Shizu? Is she a Shizu? Forgive me, but I overheard your conversation. What's happened? What? What's? So it seems the Millennium Puzzle has also been also disappeared. What I may fear is the upcoming fruitation. Please, I need your help. What's up, is Shizu? What's up? Tell me what's up. I see your your puzzle, but that is the only to be expected. Please bear with me and listen to my words. Be careful. I have come to ask you do this for your help. You must save the world from Refresh, the dark being. What, what? What? Who's Refresh? I understand this is a sudden and this is sudden and confusing. However, the world is in grave peril. Only strong duelists such as yourselves can save us. All from ruin before it's too late. Okay. All the million items have disappeared. Oh my god, so, so her necklace has gone, the rod, the weighing scales, all of them have gone missing then it looks like. This is the most likely due to the Refresh's resurrection. An unknown entity must have commence the fusion ritual on the Egyptian guard cards. Oh what? The Egyptian gods have been fused together. Which re-released refresh the dark being to the world. The ritual stone the almighty power of the Egyptian guard cards. 
and the god and the card, now drained of its mystical energies, transform into a stone. You must send the dark being to the eternal rest before the world is destroyed. But in order to accomplish this feat, the Egyptian god cards are absolutely essential. However, since the Egyptian god cards have been turned into stone, they no longer have their power. Only the, the Millennium items can can restore them to, to their former glory. The items have been scattered around all over the world. They must regain. They must be retained. They must be regained to resurrect the Egyptian god cards. And with the help of the Egyptian god cards, we may have a chance at steal, stealing away the Dark Being. I am counting on you to accomplish this task. Okay, Shizu. Please, my powerful do this. If left unchecked, the Dark Being strength will keep growing. And the world will be shrouded in perpetual darkness. Please, help save the world. What should we do, Dako? We're gonna save the We're gonna defeat the Dark Being. We're gonna do it as a team. I knew you'd say that. Besides, I have to find my Millennium Puzzle. I'll go with you, Dako. Since you said I I'm a powerful duelist, how can I refuse? You guys got a point in there. I'm coming along too, Dako. Okay, looks like I'm gonna be a team then. I thank you for your for, from the bottom of my heart. First, the Millennium items must be recovered. As a descendant of the clan of the Gravekeepers, I can sense the faint pulses of the Millennium items. You must first make your way to the Egypt as um. Egypt excavation, uh, ex I can't say it, exhibition, Ex expedition. Y y you know what I mean. The bit with the giant stone in the anime, you guys know what I mean. If my feelings are correct, the first of the Millennium Puzzle items should be there. Okay, sounds good. I know what he's asking is a great imposition, but I have no one to turn to except for you. Leave it to us. Your words have given me hope for the first time in a long time. I leave you with the fate of the world in your hands. So, so now we have to take control everyone. Let's first off go to start and actually start our deck. So as you can see, our deck is pretty weak. We've only got like level, like level two or three monsters, one, two, and three even. And all of our attack points are really weak. So what I like to do at this point in the game is get rid of every single weak monster with less than 400 attack points. This is due to the fact that like our monsters are so weak and I can't bother dealing with it. Uh, the combat system in this game is we're actually gonna because that's quite, got quite a bit of uh, defense points. So another thing I want to point out is deck capacity in the top middle right now. Each card has got a different value. For example, I don't know, um, let's look at the Shadow Spectre. It is a cost of 29. So if we add this to our deck, we'll add 29 to our deck capacity. We cannot go past 1600. But since a lot of our monsters are higher, like, are pretty good for, like, damage-wise, like, 500 attack, that's why we're going to put those into our deck. Uh, it's one of those things It's good. It's good to have. Another thing I want to get into, um, I just want to switch my monster around. I just want to get rid of Shadow Spectre. Uh, one, one second. Uh, is the fact that like a lot of the opponents have higher level monsters than we do. By that I mean they are powerful. I'm gonna put in the um, this guy, Hanawana, Hanawa, or whatever. I can't pronounce the, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards names. Uh, another thing I want to point out is the status. As you can see, we've got 8,000 life points. This is meant to be like on a tournament basis. We've also got a level of duelist, which we'll get into later on. So this game works in a real way. First, we're gonna go back to our house which is up, up here. The only way you can save the game is by coming up here, and it restores your life points. When you leave a battle, for example, your life points aren't restored. You stick with the same life points, which is annoying. But uh, I want to show off the battle system. So let's talk to this guy. We're going to press the R button. You used to be a bad duelist if you're out of here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a card up for anti. So for example, we use this. Any card with 500 attack points or more, you can put as an anti, and this means that we'll get a card back. This is the only way I'm going to show off in this area, because I really don't want to show them off. But as you can see... Each of the monsters here have got a certain icon in the top right, right of their cards, like Fiend, Wind, Dream, Thunder, and that's a spell card. And uh, it's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors thing. I can't actually remember the typing, which I'll probably get into later on, but we're going to start off by um, putting this guy down in defense mode. So, uh, and how do you end the turn? No, that's the wrong button. Okay, how do I end the turn? Oh, it's B. Uh, and each of the typings has got different advantages and disadvantages. I can't really remember, but I can see. Um, he just attacked himself, uh, but um, each monster's got their own like attack points and stuff, and each type in. It's kind of like a rock paper scissors, but like kind of thing. It's kind of like Pokemon that, that regards like fire is super effective against water and stuff like that. And I don't know why I attacked that. I don't know why. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm quickly gonna pause the game right here. I'm gonna get to get like um, the entire list of all the type ins, and I'm gonna put it on. So I've got a list on the right screen here of my computer. Dream beats dark, dark beats light, light beats fiend, fiend beats dream. Earth beats thunder, thunder beats water, water beats fire, fire beats forest, forest beats wind, wind beats earth. So as you can see, there's like two different paths, you know. 
It's kind of weird that, um, let me just put this down here and get, and get rid of, um, Jinzo number thing. Uh, but if you wonder why I'm not going to show off all the battles in this game, I'm going to be showing the main battles. Because there's a lot of these battles going on, and I don't want to show off these battles. I will be having a lose counter, though, because this game is pretty difficult, and I probably will lose so many at attacks. Like, so many times, you have no idea. So, uh, I will be using, um, codes in the store, because there's a, a store in this game where you can buy certain cards and stuff, and I will be using that. I'm not going to be cheating any cards, because, like, a lot of Let's Plays on this game, they have cheated in, like, all the cards and stuff. I'm not going to do that. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to be skipping a lot of the main, the, the, the non-main battles. Uh, since there's a lot of, like, optional stuff in this game. Uh, a good tip as well, never attack the, the card with your newly, uh, like, placed monster. Because, like I said, with the whole typing thing, um, if they got, like, a card that can beat it, it's kind of a bit, uh, you know what I mean? A bit annoying. But I can't believe how hard this game is. Like, I don't know anyone's actually beat this game. I, I can get, like, halfway because of way in the game. Uh, but as you can see, that's, that's one, uh, one thing I said. A fiend managed to, to defeat us. So, yeah. A lot of the cards in this game are pretty weak and pretty crap, not going to lie. But um, a good tip is just like put, put, put high-level monsters down on the field, you know, and you'll be fine. Um, but there's some really powerful cards you can get, which I will be using. Um, and we're trying to have like a deck which is themed around all of the typings, not just like one or two types. Also, if you, if you press L on the keypad, you can see all the attack points and defense points. Since it's kind of hard to see, because this is on the on the GBA, you know. But uh, yeah, as you can see, Aqua beats us. But since we are just starting off, the, these guys have got pretty weak um, attack points, so it's like it's not too bad. Uh, like as we get into the later game, it will get pretty intense and pretty harder, uh, and we probably will lose quite a few duels. So uh, be, be prepared for that. Like I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna have like 100, 150 losses. But I won't be showing them off. I'll probably just get get to, to the end of the episode and be like. Died here, died here, died here. You know what I mean? I haven't found out how I'm going to work this out, but it's going to be a, a long game. Actually, I don't think it's going to be that long. It's going to be a pretty short game, to be honest. But that's why you shouldn't attack that with the monsters placed down, by the way. My own fault. Um, it's going to be a long game, but only for me recording. Um, everyone else who's watching this video, it's going to be pretty short. It's going to be a, 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 a normal let's play, you know what I mean? It's not going to be too long, it's not going to be too short. But I'm really excited to actually play this game, because it's been so long since I've actually played, like... A Yu-Gi-Oh game on my ch well, I've never actually played a Yu-Gi-Oh game on my channel, but also this monster right here, the Bewitching, a great monster. So what I like to do is like I, I like to attack with a low, l lower attack monster, a uh, lower attack point monster on defending monsters. That way, gets the duel done quicker. We should be able to kill this guy. No, we can't. It's gonna be next turn. But yeah, like uh, there's only so much you can talk about like these things. Like I know uh, a lot of people in this game like to just cheat in, like I mentioned, like because there is a lot of cheats in this game. Okay, whatever. You can him tap me directly, but, but you're gonna die now anyway. Uh, also, a lot of the cards in this game don't have effects. For some reason, a dual victory, your deck capacity increased by three, and we got s s some some domino, which is some of uh, the money, and we actually got the magician of faith, which we probably will sell out. Like I said, all top dudes are about the dual express, but I may be wrong. So to interact with dual you just literally press the uh, the right button on your controller or your like S S Game Boy SP or whatever example is on the SP. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go and do this guy. And I'm actually gonna cut these duels out now, and I'll see you guys afterwards. Yeah. So we are on the last turn here, but we actually picked one of our, the best cards in the game, Final Destiny. It destroys every single card on the field. Um, we don't have to use it here, but like in a normal battle, if, you, if you're literally going to lose, then you would actually place this in, and you would probably win. We've got Mystic Lamp. It's, it's a decent card, you know. Um, it can attack your opponent directly. It's really good like, if you really need to get some extra damage on your opponent, but we're probably not going to use it. But we're just going to continue on fighting these guys, because there is so many battles we need to do. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next, in the next half this fight, yeah. So guys, we've won another duel, we got 80 Domino, and we got Fake Trap, which is literally one of the most worst cards in the game. Oh, seriously, like, th there's a lot of cards in this game that are really bad, and that's one of them. But yeah, let's get on with the next duel now. Yeah. So guys, I want to show you something else off here. So, as you can see, this card right here has got a number one in the top left. So with this card, I can actually tribute one monster, and then summon it in his place. If you don't know how Yu-Gi-Oh works, if there's a monster which five or six stars, you sacrifice one monster, if it's... 7 or 8, you sacrifice 2 monsters, and in the normal game, I'm, I'm, I'm presuming like everyone who's watching this video has played Yu-Gi-Oh! before, and that's how it works, you know, the whole sacrifice thing, and you get to summon more and more powerful monsters that way. I will be using sacrifices later on, uh, but if you wonder why I'm fighting all these monsters, these guys, it is to increase my deck capacity and actually get some more money, because I do plan on getting a pretty sweet upgrade uh, in the next episode, like, uh, I'm a pretty powerful monster, so, uh, uh, it's essentially often an AI-based character. 
But uh, let's fight this guy, and uh, I'll see you guys after this fight. Dual victory, uh, deck capacity increased by 3, got 92 domino, and got monster eye. So as you can see, these monsters are pretty weak, but it is just like getting us into the game and stuff. Uh, there is a big strategy with the whole um, deck capacity and typing and stuff in the later game. Uh, I just want to go back over here a sec, because I want to actually fight all the trainers in New Domino City before we actually do head out. Uh, let's fight this guy, come on, fight me. I'll do it with a deck that I made exclusively for Duel like, the Duel Express tournament. Uh, but yeah, let's go and uh, fight this guy. Hopefully we don't lose, because if we lose, then uh, one more count on my thing, I guess. And yay, dual victory. We got uh, deck capacity by three. We got 17 domino, and we got the Gravedigger Ghoul, which I spell like how that brings forth a, a, a ghoul that desiccates, desecrates graves and carries out all the monsters in the graveyard. I don't, I don't know what that does, but like, like I said, a lot of the cards in this game are pretty weak. It is a GBA game, so as you can imagine, like a lot of the cards are mediocre at best. Uh, I'll do you in a way that would make Mr. Kyber, Kyber proud. Okay, fight me, bruh. It's my turn. And with that, the opponents are our light turns and dual victory. We won by three, uh, got three deck capacity increase, 94 dominoes, and we got Uganachula. So uh, down here is Kyber Corp. We don't want to go down there yet because we will literally get rinsed. To be honest, we will get rinsed. Our deck is not, not strong enough to even verse anyone at Kyber Corp yet. I do plan on going down there eventually, but like I said, right now, our, our monsters are pretty weak, so we are going to go down there. Dual victory. Your deck capacity is increased by 3. 92 domino achieved, and we've got Grave Digger Ghoul again. Uh, we will be selling all these cards because it is, a, is an in game shop in this game where you can actually buy stuff. You're dualist, aren't you? I can tell from your deck dual disc. We're having all the dual disc. Boy, there are sure a lot of dualists in this town of New Domino. Uh, fight me, bro. Okay. Yep, are you going to fight me? Yeah, okay, he's going to fight me. There's a lot of opponents in this game which don't fight you as well, you can interact with, so... It's nice for you to know that. Dual victory. Your deck capacity is increased by 3, we got 70 domino, and we got Queen's Double, which is another really weak card. Uh, <laughs> trust me, like, it's one of those things we will be selling these cards anyway. No, wait, I don't duel. Okay, that guy doesn't duel. We've got two more people to traverse while we're here. Sure thing, a duel, no matter where, where it is played. Sounds good to me. Okay, let's use an anti, and let's verse him. Do a victory. Your deck pass is increased by three. 83 domino was was obtained. We've got Freight Trap, another crappy card, which we're just gonna sell. Just I lost that one. So bro, I still have my pride as a duelist. I don't feel like dueling, but I'll still take you on fair and square. Wait, what? He doesn't feel like dueling, but he's gonna verse it anyway. Do a victory. Your deck pass is increased by three. Eight, uh, 68 domino has been received. We've got Fake Trap again. But what we're gonna do is gonna pop to the shop right now and actually sell all these cards we've got because I can't bother to deal with it. Grandpa, I'm home. What up? Mm. Do you need new rare cards coming? I wonder. Uh, but on this, on this PC right here, you can actually input the password terminal for a thousand dominoes. Would you like to enter a password? No, not yet. But that's what we're going to be using to actually import uh, things. It's actually on the bottom left of the cards, you actually get a certain code you can input there, which is pretty cool. As you can see, there's a lot of cards to buy. Like, for example, this guy right here, Toadmaster. <laughs> a thousand attack points, a thousand defense. That, that's actually really good. And then there's that card, um, which is, just look at the price there, it is 20,000, 20,000, like this is what made this game, made this game so hard, like the amount of like money you need, like even, even Pot of Greed's 600, you know what I mean, like a bloody thousand eyes, that's 400, and also like a three sacrifice monster there, which is pretty rare, that's only 200, that's, that's pretty cheap actually for that, I might actually buy that eventually, but um, like, look at all these cards, like, they are so expensive. Like, people actually, yeah, you have to grind up money. That looks really com the complex if you don't know what I'm on about, but, like, it's so expensive. So let's actually go through and actually sell our duplicate cards. So I'll let, you, have to, you have to have two choosers as an anti, so we can't actually sell all those, but we can sell one of these. We, we, we can't sell all the cards, we can sell at least one of a kind. But yeah, we're just going to sell them all, um, which we don't need, so. It's just... It's just one of those things, I just want to get rid of all, all the crappy cards. It looks like we've got one in this trunk no matter what, so... It's a bit it's a bit crappy, that, isn't it? But we will be selling these cards. And so we're going to actually farm quite a bit of money. We're going to be farming money off-screen, on and off. And I'll be showing you how I'm going to do that in the next episode. I'm going to farm, farm my screen, because it's kind of like... Um, it's going to be the way we get, we're going to actually survive in this game, because honestly, like this game is so difficult to actually farm for farm money if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, I know quite a bit about like farming in this game, so I will be... Ball the foot to sell everything. Um, I will be showing that off because, like I said, farming this game is pretty interesting and pretty difficult. So, uh, 
yeah, uh, I will be showing off a few duels next episode. Um, mainly main character duels, like Yugi, Joey, and stuff, because you can actually fight those guys. So, uh, pretty cool. But yeah, as you can see, we've got 3,000 money now. Uh, well, 3,000 domino. Uh, can we buy any really good cards? <laughs> like, uh, I really want to buy something like that Toad, because that is actually a really good card. Like, 10, like, 1,000 experience, 1,000 attack points, 1,000 defense, it's only 3 star monsters. That's a really good card. And same with this card right here, that's actually pretty good. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to look off screen for a certain card I'm looking for. But, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, it'll be greatly appreciated. Next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Refresh of Destruction, we're actually going to go and take on Joey and Yugi, and probably Duke and Tristan as well. We're actually going to go and save up by going up north, right up here, and actually reset our, our, our points. Because if you remember, I said our life points are pretty low, because it, it doesn't refresh after, after like a duel or anything. But, your life has been restored, would you like to save the game? Yes, I would, and your progress has been saved. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.